the origin behind polymeric color started back in the 50s with Dr. Hans Kuhn, which is one of our inventors in Millikan Research. And his idea was if we could make a temporary color for yarn identification. For instance, make polyester red or a nylon 6 green or a nylon 6 6 blue. And so you can keep all the yarn separated and not have that potential for, for a yarn mix. So um, he did that, and it's now known as our Versatent product line, which is sold globally today. Reactant is another polymeric color. What's unique about reactants is it competes with pigments. So if you put a pigment in a polyurethane foam, back in my day when I was a, when I was a kid, I used to play with a lot of polyurethane foam, but the more you play with it, the more brittle it became. The reason for that, one of the reasons for that is because it contained pigments. Pigments is basically colored dirt. So now, instead of putting a colored piece of dirt in a polyurethane, we actually have a polymeric color which reacts with the polyurethane foam so it doesn't become brittle, it doesn't become abrasive. It actually is part of the polyurethane foam matrix, so it's more durable and a brighter color and non-extractable. Well, if you ever sprayed weeds, have you ever gone out in your yard and sprayed biocides, pesticides, insecticides on the ground, the problem is you can't really see where you're spraying and you can't see how much you're using. Can we take our temporary non-staining color, put it in with those pesticides so you can see where you're spraying, and as it turns out, not only can you see where you're spraying, but now you don't have to put excess chemicals on the ground. And so that led to our Blazon product line, which is, again, still in existence today and doing really well. So what's on the horizon for Liquitant? Well, one of the things that we're developing right now is a bluing agent. You may not know it, but if you add a little bit of black color to some white paint, it actually makes the, the white look a little bit whiter. They use the same type of technology called a bluing agent in detergents. We developed a technology so that you get the initial impact on the very first wash, so your clothes come out whiter, and regardless of how many times you wash your clothes after that, you get the first effect and does not build up with time.